good morning. Wheel is at large. We're out again. Day 12. Day 12? Yeah. Yeah, day 12. We were hoping to have reached base camp by this weekend. But I'm not sure what height base camp is. What height is base camp? 17,000 feet. Oh, we're not there yet. A little bit tired this morning. I'll blame that on the glass of wine. I haven't had any wine, alcohol, since the start of the challenge. I had a glass of wine last night. This morning was the first morning. Julie slapped the alarm, rolled over, I went back to sleep. <laughs> so I revived her with coffee and the main bedroom light. Seemed to do the trick. Not sure how popular I am right now though. We appear to have wind. Not me. It's windy. Oh, I've got an added leaf. Decided to join me. Hello, Mr. Leaf. Please go. I don't really want you making a noise on my bike, thank you. There you go. I'm wearing my suka clothing, bibs and top. Looking very aero in your suka. <laughs> <laughs> it is, it's nice clothing. Yeah. It's back up in the teens, the temperature, so um, it's quite warm. So I decided back to go up. with shorts. Absolutely, it's back in shorts, 13 degrees. It's 13, is it? Yeah, and um, it's quite windy today, but the southwesterly, of course, makes it that bit warmer. So. Yes. Coming from the Caribbean. Yes. Did I get my geography right? You did. Whoa! You did. Well, if we get through this section without Julie's camera playing up, we're definitely doing better than the last two days. It's always best to stay out on this one because uh, there's a nice lumpy little tree root just coming up. And oh, does it throw you if you don't see it? Yeah, nightmare. And there it is. Because it's under a light, there's no shadow to show you that it's a dip and then a hump. It's just full of light. Very difficult to see in the dark. Any keep fitters this morning? Whoa, it's a little bit windy down here. I'm gonna turn into it as well. <laughs> okay, a little bit different. <coughs> a little bit different yesterday. <coughs> Crokey. Oh, talking of croquis. Mike actually wore his croquis yesterday on the uh, his afternoon jaunt. So you didn't lose your glasses yesterday then? No. <laughs> there was a comment about croquis. Julie bought me croquis. Anyway, I did use them yesterday. And um, yeah, it's okay. I've still got my glasses, I mean, so that's a win. Come on. Come on. Come on, come on. <laughs> Actually, it's only this first bit that's steep. It's only the hill that's steep. Yes. <laughs> it's only the steep bit that's steep. All right, second big hill of the day done. 392. We don't get rain in this country. Not really. You ask Ryan about the rain in the Philippines. He'll tell you what real rain is. <laughs> ah, camphor cliffs. Coffee saloon, getting ready for the next thing. So lights are on. Wow, what a difference. Yesterday this was like a mill pond. Certainly not that today. 
Well, the croquis might come into play in a minute because it's difficult to see through the glasses right now. Wind behind. Uh, maybe, yeah. On Haven Hill. And along the beach. I had a go yesterday. He's had a push today. Listen to those poor tyres. It's best to take the lane if you can on the way down Evening Hill because there's uh, some nasty lumpy stuff in the bike lane. It's all right once you get on the flat here. Haven Hill with wind behind. Woo! No records being broken today by Julie. We've done 660 feet of climbing at this point. That's all oh, are they? Mm. Oh, let's have a look. It's flat. No, don't worry, because we're on the beach after this, really, and then it'll be light anyway. So once we get down to the beach, it'll be fine. Yeah, sure. I could see it flashing as I was in the drops a minute ago, so it couldn't have gone off for long. Yeah, Mike's back lights suddenly switched off. So it must be flat, so um, we'll stick together and uh, get down to the beach. I've got a couple of gears left, so I think we're getting a push. I think this weekend you might see a few more houses get decorated. I don't know. It's a little bit early, I suppose. When we went out last night, quite a lot of the businesses were already decorated. Yeah, they're all starting to get into the Christmas spirit. Ooh, come on. I'll wait for somewhere where there's light. Nothing to do with me trying to get my breath back. <sighs> so, do croquis cross over from surf to gravel chic? Now there's a question. Somebody bring out some new Christmas music, please. There you go. It's a challenge for somebody out there that can actually play music. Bring something out that's Christmassy and new. Yes. Are meant to be bad. Yes, they're meant to be so bad. That everybody thinks they're bad. Yeah. And everybody is yeah. together in their badness. Yes. Well, maybe that's what Christmas music is. It's so bad and so cheesy that everybody thinks, oh, this is so cheesy, but they're all together with it. You know? I don't know. Mm. If somebody brought out a cool Christmas single, would everybody just go, well, this isn't Slade. <laughs> Probably. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe that's why new Christmas music doesn't live doesn't on. Appear. That's right. Right, definitely no sunrise. It is wet and it is grey. And very windy. So I'm hoping we'll have a bit of a tailwind. And you will be able to see the sea. Wow, look at that raging sea I mean not by Portuguese standards I understand that but um, yeah it's getting churned up that's for sure oh 
I found a use for my croquis. Oh yeah? Yeah, it's for hanging my glasses around my neck because I can't wear them in the rain, so I shouldn't have bloody bothered bringing them in the first place. Yeah, that's what it's for. Yeah. You don't need them. Yeah, I should have just left the glasses at home. Can't wear them in the rain. They're rubbish. Well, I quite like glasses in the rain. Yeah. Yeah, that's what eyelashes are for. A thousand and nine. Because I'm epic in every way. What's yours on? Oh well. Oh well, there you go then. You're not quite as epic as me. Maybe we'll do tomorrow as an even harder challenge by doing it on the noodle. Yeah, geez, talking about getting a little cafe bike out. It really is a noodle. And going up the hills, <laughs> it just wobbles all over the place. This is good. Right, that's got rid of that. Hopefully no more noise now. There we go, you see, just need to dry it off. That's because they're rim brakes and it's wet. Ha 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 ha. that be in the drop? Maybe I can pull them harder if I need to. I don't particularly like that, but uh, that's what I've got to do. Cool. Yeah, right the way to the handlebars. Okay. No yeehaw, what happened there? You didn't yeehaw. No, I didn't. No. Oh, what's going on? Don't know. Going through the motions. Probably would have made me feel better actually. No, 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 that wasn't that wasn't a brake squeal. No, I think that was just some sort of bird up in the tree. Well, if you've watched this far into the video, thank you for watching. That was day 12, done, done and dusted. I've done 1,030, you've done a lot more than that. Oh, I've done masses. Yeah. <laughs> Click the like button and join us tomorrow for day 13. But it will be in the light, it won't be in the dark. Oh, which way are you go? Oh, we'll, we'll stay this way. Sorry. <laughs> sorry. Sorry. I was. Sorry. We're going down the high street, aren't we? <laughs> All right, let's go. Oh, yes. Yeah. Yeah, went out for a little gravel circuit yesterday. Ow, she's off. Um, yeah, getting back on this bike this morning, I was surprised just how long and stretched out it is by comparison. I didn't notice that the gravel bike was more upright, I must admit. But yeah, getting on this this morning, it did feel long for the first five or ten minutes. See? Right, let's let that Audi go, because they haven't seen me at all. There we go.